Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dan here. And uh, well, today we're gonna be continuing our Unity uh, 5 FPS tutorial thing. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to be doing a mouse look, sort of mouse follow script. So if, you, if you've ever played an FPS, which I can probably guess that if you're watching this tutorial series, you're probably going to have played one. Um, Otherwise, you wouldn't be knowing what you're looking for, and you probably wouldn't have found this video. So, uh, if we go ahead and just play real quick, well, I'll explain what we're going to be doing. So, if you play an FPS, if you were to move your mouse cursor around, your character's screen is going to um, move based upon where the mouse is. So, you'll actually be able to look around and whatnot. And we'll also go ahead and actually start setting up the uh, FPS aspect of the game. So, we're not actually going to be watching the character from... Uh, way back here, we're actually going to put the camera inside of his head and we're going to be able to uh, work with that. So uh, let's get started then. So in our scripts folder, uh, we're going to go ahead and create a new uh, JavaScript. And this is going to be called, uh, let's just call it mouse, mouse look, just something super simple like that. And go ahead and open it. So anyway, this is uh, the first video I'm going to be recording with the uh, new microphone stand I've ordered. So uh, hopefully this, this works well. All right. So um, darn it. I just <laughs> closed the wrong script. Give me a sec. There we go. There we go. Okay. We don't really need the player script. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So first things first, get rid of absolutely everything right there because we are not going to need it whatsoever. Um, next, we're going to need a public enum. So public helps if I spell it correctly. There we go. Rotation axes. And uh, then we're going to need two squiggly brackets. And inside, we're going to do mouse x is equal to zero. And mouse y is equal to one then we're going to go ahead and start with our variables so var rotation axis x y which is going to be equal to our rotation axis uh, enumeration dot mouse x or rotation axes dot mouse y. All right, so uh, now we're going to get on to the um, actual setting it up so that way the script will go ahead and actually uh, we're going to start putting in the variables for actually getting it to um, register 360 degrees and all of that fun stuff, plus uh, other things as well. So we're going to need a variable for our sensitivity. And we're going to set that as a float. And uh, we could probably set that as like maybe... Uh, let's let's just do 500 for right now. Uh, this can be something we can change in the actual editor later. So then we're going to do var min x, which is going to be also a float, which we're going to set equal to negative 360 degrees. Then we're going to need a opposite one for that. So max x which is going to be a float and you guessed it it's going to be 360 so this way we'll be able to go the whole way around uh and then a um variable for the rotation of x so we could do uh rotation x something simple like that and that is also going to be a float lots of floats And then below that, we're going to go ahead and start doing the um, variables for 
the uh, the opposite end of the spectrum, the Y. So var right. Well, actually, we could probably let's do this in order. I'm I'm reading this off of a script that I've written in the past. Uh, it's a little out of order, mostly because I never thought I'd be doing a tutorial on this. So uh, just bear with me for a second. Um, so min y which is going to be a float and that's going to be set equal to negative 360 var max y which is going to be a float and that's going to be set equal to 360 Uh, then we're going to need the rotation y. Helps if I make this a variable first off, so rotation y, which is going to be a float. And we're set that, uh, we don't need to set that equal to zero, it's already going to be automatically set as one. And then below all of this, uh, separate from everything else, we're going to do var. origin rotation and that's going to be a quaternion all right so now onto the actual uh functions that we're going to be using in this script so we're going to just need our function update because most scripts are going to require this at some point or another all right so in here we're going to do if rotation axes x y equals equals rotation axes dot mouse x all right so this is going to be covering if we have the script set up to be equal to our uh x axis and then we're going to do another if statement similar to that so rotation axis x y is equal to rotation axis oh wait Oops, uh, back up here on line 18, we're going to remove the XY. I don't know why I put that there. Um, dot mouse Y. There we go. Close that off. And so we've got our two if statements for inside of our um, update function. Inside of the uh, mouse X if statement, we're going to go ahead and start putting some stuff in there. So what we're going to need is... Um, Rotation x plus equals input dot get axes into the parentheses. We're going to do mouse x multiplied by sensitivity, and then we're going to multiply that by time dot delta time just so that way it's smooth uh, below this we're going to do our origin rotation equals x quaternion which is equal to all right give me a second i gotta check this real quick all right i'm back uh sorry about that i just wanted to make sure that uh I, I, i'm just gonna keep going doesn't worry about it so uh x quaternion is equal to quaternion dot angle axis
rotation x comma vector three dot up. Below that we're going to do transform dot rotation. Sorry, transform dot local rotation is equal to origin rotation multiplied by our x quaternion. Below that we're going to do rotation x is equal to clamp angle rotation x min x max x. Now this is referencing a, a function we're going to create in a minute. Uh, so before we do that, we're actually going to go ahead and quickly do the uh, mouse y if statement. So that way we can just keep going. And it's going to be very similar to all of this, except there's going to be a few minor differences, obviously, because it's two different things. So in here, we're going to do rotation y minus equals input dot get axis mouse y multiplied by sensitivity multiplied by time dot delta time. Below that we're going to do origin rotation is equal to y quaternion which is equal to quaternion dot angle axis rotation y vector three dot right. Okay, the below that we're gonna do transform dot local rotation is equal to origin rotation multiplied by our y uh, quaternion. And then below that we're gonna do rotation y is equal to clamp angle rotation y min y max y. All right, so that's uh, the function update completed. Now we just have to go ahead and do the next function. So static function clamp ang angle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so uh, whatever you named this here and this here has to go here. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So if you've named this something differently, this is going to have to be the same thing or vice versa. Inside the parentheses, we're going to do angle min max fl float and then we're going to do if angle is greater than negative no, it is less than. If it is less than negative 360, that didn't make a whole lot of sense. If it is less than, then we're going to do angle plus equals 360. Then we're going to go ahead and do if angle is greater than 
360. Then we're going to do angle minus equals 360. Then below all of this, we're going to do return math f dot clamp angle min max and then semicolon so that is basically the script so we're going to be uh we have our mouse x our mouse y so this will be responsible for us looking up and down uh left and right and it will go ahead and rotate our character based upon the um the angle we're calling for with our mouse go ahead and minimize no errors as you can see none so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the camera inside of our player so that way we're not looking at it from a distance uh, easiest way to do this is we're just going to take the main camera and drag it on top of our player and we're going to zero this out and let's put the y at one so we're right in the head There we go. Now on the main camera, we're going to go ahead and drag our mouse look script. Our camera is going to be responsible for us looking up and down. And then if we go and click on our player, we're going to drag the mouse look script onto here as well. So there we go. And we're going to respond and the main player is going to be responsible for uh, the X axis. So if we go ahead and hit play, As you can see, we are looking around. Uh, granted, we can kind of um, really, uh, I didn't know there was a sun over there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> we can kind of, uh, yeah, this is um, obviously, this isn't going to be uh, a permanent thing uh, just because you're not really supposed to be uh, able to roll your head back and forth like this. So we're going to go ahead and change that real quick. So on our main camera, we're going to go to here. And then for our min Y, we're going to, let's do 90. And then our max, let's do 90. Okay, still too much. Uh, we're going to do negative 45 and 45. So there you go. We can't look too far up or too far down. So there we go. That is basically it for today's tutorial. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next thing we'll do is probably start working on maybe adding in some kind of shooting mechanic and locking our mouse in the center of the screen. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And if you have any suggestions or comments or anything, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care. Oh, kind of, there we go. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.